Hey guys, welcome back to this update tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you guys can create this 3D cartoon text animation. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, let's create a new composition and I'm gonna call this 3D text. And I will go with pocket resolution and 10 seconds as the duration. Okay, and make sure you give a bright color for the background. And I'm gonna hit OK. Alright, perfect. Now let's add our text. So let's go to go to tool and select our text tool and here i am going to use this font i will put the link in the description this is from a google font website and you guys can download it and i'm going to just click here and i'm going to type 3d okay and let's select the selection tool and let's bring it here and i'm going to press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point so make sure this is really important make sure your anchor point in the middle of this uh, layer okay and i'm going to use the align tool to align it to the center like so all right now we have our 3d text let's uh, connect this text to 3d so i'm going to go here and select this 3d icon so this way we can convert this shape into 3d layer now if you go here you probably have a classic 3d option so make sure you connect this into cinema 4d uh option okay so this is really important now let's go here and create our text 3d text so i'm gonna open this and let's open the geometry and here you can see the extrusion depth so i'm gonna set this to maybe let's set this to 300 we can change it later okay so now let's see and uh, let's say we have uh, we need some different uh colors so i'm gonna go here and animate and i'm gonna set the front color and then let's set the rgb select the rgb okay now i'm gonna give a color to this text let's give some kind of color like this okay now we have a front color if you go to transform and rotate as you can see we don't have any color in the back to give a color in the back we can also go to animate and then go to back and color and select this rgb again and here we can link the same color as the first just pick pick to the first color and it will give the same color as the uh, front color okay or you guys can just disable this expression and give whatever color you like okay so i'm gonna enable this expression back again and as you can see now if you check both front and back and uh, we have the same color okay let's say uh, you need a uh, color for the this middle part so we can go again select this go to text animate and here i'm gonna give a color for the side so i'm gonna go to select side color and then rgb and as you can see you guys can just pick with this color and give a darker color like so and that's how you can create this 3d text by the way our anchor point is not in the 3d middle so we can fix it so i'm gonna set the y rotation to zero back again so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a camera so let's create right click new and add a camera and i will keep the same setting and i'm gonna hit okay okay now let's go to here 3d view and i'm gonna uh, select this top view all right as you can see what we can do we can bring this c location here and then i'm gonna select this pan behind too this way we can change the direction of the axis so i'm gonna just place it here anchor point right here right here in the middle as you can see this way we can go here and then rotate it from the middle as you can see here so we can animate it easily so i'm gonna go back to the active camera and i'm gonna just close this up now let's create a keyframe uh, okay let's open this again and i'm gonna go to zero second and i'm gonna create a keyframe for the yeah let's create a keyframe for the x rotation so i'm gonna create a keyframe for the x rotation in the zero second let's go to four second or maybe three yeah three is good and i'm gonna set this to one and i'm gonna select this keyframe and i'm gonna press f9 to easy ease and let's go to graph editor and i'm only gonna select this x rotation and just give a nice easy to the end like so now let's go back to the main timeline and here we have this simple animation as you can see here let me show you okay perfect if you think it's a bit slow we can go to two second mark and bring it here okay 
and we can change it later all right and that's basically how you can create a 3d text inside after bit and by the way let's say we need a multiple uh, color for these text to do that we need to separate these layers so i'm gonna select this text i'm gonna duplicate okay and let's disable the first layer and i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna go to create and create shape from text okay now this way we lost all those uh, colors so we have to do it manually okay so i'm gonna open this again and as you can see we have two layers here three and d and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just duplicate so we can separate it in the first layer i'm gonna keep the three and delete the d letter okay and let's go up and then do the same in this case i'm gonna delete the three and keep the d and let's rename this so we can easily find it in this layer i'm gonna say rename this to three and let's go to top uh, layer and set this to d we need to uh, reset the anchor point so i'm gonna select this and then control both or okay this way we can reset the anchor point to that specific object origin okay and as you can see if you go to top view select this as you can see it in the uh, origin of the text and let's go back to active camera and here we need to add different colors uh, this time you have to just select this layer like so and then go to add and let's go to front color and let's go back again add and go to back color and if you want a middle color you can go to side and add a side color okay now do this to the same d letter so go here and select the d letter add add a front color and also side color and also a back color like so now let's link this so we can easily change it so i'm gonna link this first uh, d letter that color to the front letter and uh, if you want different color you can just escape this uh, part okay and here in this letter i'm gonna give a i'm gonna pick it from this image like this okay cool now for the side color i'm gonna pick with this orange color and i'm gonna just give a darker color to give this clearly so i'm gonna just hold alt on my keyboard and just rotate it like so all right cool now you guys can just give a different color if you want you can just type as you can see like that yeah let's keep it like that okay and you can do the same you can just pick with this to the front color again so we can only change one letter and it will change the back color as well uh, for this one i will give uh, this yellow color cool and also you can pick with a different side color for this one as you can see it's not that hard and now as you can see you can uh, get a really cool cartoon 3d uh, text like this and if you don't want this step you can just go to this first text and just you can also change your text and it will update but as you can see the we don't have that multiple uh, color text in this way and by the way i already show you how to do this multiple color just you have to just uh, do a little bit more work as you can see you have to convert this text into a uh, shape layers and then apply those colors uh, one by one and that's basically it i hope you guys like this you can also just select these letters and then press u and you can also offset these letters let me show you go to one second and then bring it back here and you can go to four second mark and press a and then yeah if you think it's a bit slow you can just only offset by a few keyframes okay i think yeah this looks pretty cool You can also add a background so right now we have a transparent so right click new sort it and just pick with this color i'm using this color uh, image from pinterest uh, by the way this is a software called pureref okay you guys can just go to google and type pureref i will put the link in the description for this story this is uh, like uh, you can just put any reference and it will uh, keep 
those surface in this screen okay and yeah it's really cool uh free software i will put the link in the description this is called a uh, ref okay and i will just pick with this color for the background and let's bring it here and that's basically it you can also add a new an adjustment layer and i'm gonna call this posterized time and you can add posterized time effect and set this to do a keeping for the get that cartoonish uh, effect and you can also go to new and adjustment layer and turbulent displays and search for turbulent displays effect and set this to 2 and maybe 50 to get that boiling effect as you can see here or click and it will open the expression window and i'm gonna type time multiplied by maybe 4 something like that it will give a boiling effect and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this as always thank you so much for all of my patreon supporters if you have a question please as always don't forget to uh, write it in the down below and i hope you guys like this tutorial if you do please don't uh, forget to hit that like button and subscribe button i really appreciate that and yeah i wish you guys with another tutorial peace